such a pleasure to be here with you guys. Congratulations on your latest award, the Maestro Award. Thank you. Um, you have quite the collection going on with your Grammys and your Oscars. Any special <laughs> place where you're keeping everything? I do. I have a cabinet. I keep them in. I keep them just out of just out of view. <laughs> this is the fourth film that you've worked with with the Cohen brothers. What do you love about working with them? Well, they're they're artists, and they, you know, every you know, F. Murray Abraham yesterday said something interesting in a panel. He said, every actor up there will tell you that they will say yes to the Coens immediately because that, working with them is the way films are supposed to be made. And that wasn't hyperbole. It's actually, it's actually true. Everybody goes, everybody contributes 100%. Everyone is encouraged to put everything on the table they do. They're, no one's possessive over ideas. You can ask them, which one, you know, which one of you guys wrote which line? And they, don't, they never know that. In fact, <coughs> I think that was part of why Originally, it, they were listed as Joel as director and Ethan as producer, but after a while, it became, they just did that sort of arbitrarily in the beginning, but after a while, it was clear they were both directing and both producing and both, in a way, you know, it's, I says, in a way, it's like having John Ford and Billy Wilder <laughs> as co-directors of a, of a movie, except they get along. Except they get along. <laughs> you know, so, so you have like these two really great directors that set up a, an environment of such certainty, I think. They have such certainty about their, their, their step is so sure that everyone feels uh, like he can dive into it full board. Nobody leaves anything in the bag. Mm. So it's, it's just w like it's supposed to be. No, I'm so impressed. I had no idea that you could sing. Did you have previous singing Me experience? neither. No. <laughs> I've always been so sad that I can't sing. I'm, I'm so jealous. Did you, when, in auditioning for the movie, did you get a singing coach? Did you, had you had previous uh, singing experience? Uh, well, yeah, you know, I've, I've been in, I've, I've sung badly for many, many, many years. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, eventually, I guess you put in the hours and, 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 and you get better, but, uh, uh, yeah, I, I just I, I did it. Uh, you know, I, I I came in for the audition and and uh, and then in between, you know, they they called me back for another audition. In between that, I, I met somebody actually that that uh, that plays this kind of music that's that's been around in the scene for a long time, just serendipitously, and and he helped me get ready with the with the finger picking and and the, si and the singing. And then once I got the role, uh, worked really closely with T Bone, uh, just to 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 find the most uh, honest sound. And do you, do you think that you could have done it without the help and guidance of T-Bone? Oh, no, no, no. I mean, I, I, I couldn't have done any of this without, without the Coens and without T-Bone. I mean, obviously, without the Coens, <laughs> they wrote the thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, but, but um, no, it, it wasn't easy, uh, but, uh, you know, that's exactly why you do it. You know, I wouldn't have wanted to do it if it was, if it was easy. Do you feel like that you put a little bit of yourself into the character? Because I know this goes back to kind of your genre and the music that you grew up in and started on. I put every bit of myself into this character. I really did. I put, I feel in many ways, and I don't mean this is hyperbole, I really do as I look back on this, I feel like it, everything I've been doing for a long time uh, led up to, to having the ability, to having the, I guess the courage or something to do this particular film, to having the, to just to being able to do this film. You know, that even No Brother Where Art Thou, we, we did this a little bit on No Brother Where Art Thou. We did a little bit of live recording. We did it with uh, Fairfield Four, and we did it with Chris Thomas King, where mm. we got the best performances live. But, but it's rarely done that you record everything live without any pre-record, without any auto-tuning, without any overdubbing, without any of, any of that stuff, just the raw, performer performing for real. What is your process when joining with the film of producing the music and writing the music? Everything we've done with the Coens, we've recorded all the music ahead of the film, which is great for me because I can put all the music together. I can, I can put the film together musically before we shoot anything. And then you can listen to it, you can see if it's paced right, if the tone is right, you can adjust the tone if you need to. So that's what we did with this one. We, except the difference with this one is once we had done that in, in pre-production and once we knew what the film sounded like and, and how it was, what, what the tunes were and how they were going to go, we were going to do it documentary style and just do it live. So we just left all that behind. 
but it gave the actors to a template. Oscar could go home and listen to himself play and sing the song and become very familiar with it. So that by, by the time we got to the set, he was able to play the song 30 times in a row at the same tempo and the same energy level. It was pretty, it was, it was, it was amazing actually. I downloaded the album and I've been listening to it over and over. I absolutely love it. Was it intimidating at all for you to be working with Justin Timberlake, uh, Marcus Mumford? Yes and yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was very intimidating. Did it get easier though? Uh, Obviously, it had to, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, yes, yeah, it did because uh, those they were so um, supportive throughout the whole process. They were so they they just helped me build my confidence the whole time. And what was really cool actually was that while we were rec doing all these recordings, they they were also uh, the beginning the, the the writing process of their album separately. So I could. You know, in between playing some of these songs, you could hear them getting inspired and starting to write stuff for you know, Justin for his album that he did and, and Marcus for Babel. Uh, so that was really fun as well. But, you know, we just all got together that, that week in New York City and, and uh, you know, Tebow made the lighting just right at the studio and had couches sitting around and burned that Palo Santo. And, <laughs> and uh, you know, Joel and Ethan would just wander around listening and, and we all just played music and, and found the songs. and. And, and and really found the 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 blood of the movie, you know, of of the characters too. That's what revealed the characters.